हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज अवर थर्ड क्लास ऑन द चैप्टर एनिमल्स एंड देयर यंग चिल्ड्रन इन आर लास्ट टू क्लासेस वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट रिप्रोडक्शन एंड द टू मेन वेज ऑफ रिप्रोडक्शन फर्स्ट वन वी हैव डिस्कस दैट इज बाय लेइंग एग्स वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द लाइफ साइकिल ऑफ अ हेन अ फ्रॉग एंड अ बटरफ्लाई Today we are going to study about the second way of reproduction among animals that is by giving birth to babies yes children there are some animals who directly give birth to babies who directly produce their young ones for reproduction human beings dogs cats cow lion tiger hippopotamus giraffe zebra whales dolphins bat these are animals who directly produce their babies or young ones they are known as mammals yes children mammals are the animals who give birth to their babies they do not lay eggs for reproduction understood children mammals have some special characteristics let us study one by one what are the special features or characteristics of mammals children mammals have well developed brain all of you know that human beings have a well developed brain that's why we can perform we can do different activities on this earth surface children similarly the all the mammals they have a well developed brain all the mammals breathe through lungs mammals breathe through lungs children now you have one question that ma'am whales and dolphins they live in water then how do they breathe through lungs in water fish live in water they have gills for breathing then how whale and dolphin they breathe through lungs actually they have lungs and frequently they come out of water to take the atmospheric oxygen most of the mammals live on land most of the mammals live on land some mammals live in water like whales and dolphins bat this live on trees bats hang from the trees they are also mammals don't think they are birds they are mammals children one another characteristic of mammals is that they have hairs on their bodies exception these things well dolphins and they have hairless they have no hair on their bodies mammals have four limbs yes we have two hands and two legs animals wild animals and domestic animals like uh, a dog cat cow lion tiger etc they have also four limbs and hind limbs exceptions are there okay like these animals whales dolphins bats etc children the third one is that mammals have mammary glands means the mother mammal feeds its baby with its own milk with its own milk understood so mammals feed their babies then next one is students mammals are warm blooded animal means they maintain a constant temperature of their body in higher classes you you will learn more ab about the characteristics of mammals so for this class you just remember mammals have hair on their bodies they breathe through lungs they the mothers feed their babies and mammals give birth to babies now children mammals as they have a well developed brain they take good care of their young ones yes our parents 
take care of us they look after us understood similarly all the mammals look after their babies understood so children today we have completed this chapter the mammals look after their babies collect food for them feed them protect them from their enemies as human beings do for their children understood so all of you learn this part of your book of the chapter 9 properly understood hope you like this chapter very much here children i like to tell one thing there are some exceptional things in case of mammals two mammals in your book given in page 80 did you know box you see one is duck bill platypus another one is spiny anteater these two mammals lay eggs this is exception they do not give birth to babies directly they lay eggs so there are some exceptions in every field of our life of living bodies understood so all of you learn this part of your chapter properly we will meet soon in our next video thank you